Thank you for joining me. You're a beautiful person. You're a good person. If no one has told you that today, let me be the first to say it. And I thank you for joining in on this video. So in this video, we're just gonna take a quick look at a run and gun portrait session at the Balboa Pier and how five different lenses performed in a very short amount of time. Please subscribe, click the like button. I can't thank you enough for joining and watching this video. Let me know what's your favorite lens to go to in crunch time in a portrait session. Which lens would you turn to? Today I'm gonna to review how five different lenses performed with the Canon EOS R in a portrait session. So about a week ago, my son was here from UC Santa Barbara. We're heading down the beach to Balboa Pier to take some pictures with Nathan. He's right here, he's a musician, he's my son. And, and he, he got a SoundCloud, we share SoundCloud. Link is right here. <laughs> Link is right there. And we, I use his music all the time in my videos, so um, Link, check him out. The link is right here. Click. All right, we're out here at Balboa. We're about to do a little photo shoot, Nathan. Under the pier, down there, down there. And so I wanted to share with you how the lenses perform. I brought a 10 to 18 millimeter, the RF 35, the 50 millimeter, I brought an 85 portrait lens and the 100 to 300, which is a really old lens that I have. I wanted to see how all of them perform. All right, now this lens is the 35 RF and I thought this was gonna be hands down the winner, but we have some surprises in store. You can see the face is very, very sharp and clear. This is um, f6.3, so I wasn't shooting um, wide open, um, and I like the real soft treatment of the ocean, the waves. You can see some people playing um, in the background. And so this did a great job. Now, I don't have the composition dialed in exactly here, um, and so I don't think I got any pictures with the 35 that I was totally happy with. All right, so you can see you got the light stand up with the uh, Westcott umbrella. Nathan's right here. He just put his hair up, and we're gonna do some shots under here. It's pretty busy out here. You see tons of people out here. Um, there was some wind noise. Uh, it was loud at the beach. It was crowded. Um, so let's move on and see what else happened. Remember, I had limited time, and so I'm kind of looking at which lens helped me find the sweet spot in a time crunch without a lot of thinking. I didn't have a lot of time to troubleshoot. I did set up an off-camera light on Westcott uh, optical wide umbrella and um, I used the Godox V860 flash with the X-Pro trigger on top of the EOS R. Um, and that's a, a setup I've been happy with, but I, I fooled around so much with the lighting, getting the light stand and everything right. I didn't have a lot of time with each lens. So I basically got the light dialed in and I took two or three shots with each lens and that's what we have. So this is the 85, and you kind of see it's cropped in, it's horizontal, so it's pushed up. Um, I like the bokeh, I like the background. I'm not super impressed by it, but it's nice and soft and not distracting, and the focal point from the head and shoulders up is really the subject. It's nice and crisp, the catch lights are awesome from the flash. Um, so I have to give that like kind of a four stars like out of this session. So the 85 did a pretty good job. I would have thought the 85 would have been the hands down winner, but that's not what happened. All right, here's another shot of the 85 and it's kind of flat and washed out. Um, now here's the 50. Now surprisingly, in the past, the 50 has been my favorite lens. And so we can see it's a little bit washed out. Um, this is straight out of camera. I really do like the pilings underneath the pier. Um, they came out really good and probably um, I like them better than I do the 85, which has more compression. Um, so this is a really good shot. Maybe the light's a little bit harsh on his face. Um, and again, the left side of the portrait is totally blown out. So let's keep going and see what we have. Here was the first surprise for me. When I put on the 10 to 18 lens, I was blown away just by the composition that I was able to achieve. This is easily the cheapest lens out of the bunch. And so when I took this first shot, I really got excited. And that's the thing that you really wanna look for in that portrait session is the lens, the light, whatever it is that gets you excited and you wanna shoot more and more and more. So once I got this shot, I knew, okay, I have more of the architectural structure of the pier to play with, and I wanted to get all of Nathan's body in the shot. So we're gonna take a look at a couple more. All 
right, here's the first one where I had it kind of framed up where I thought it was interesting to look at. This is the one that I think I landed on as one of my favorites. I think there's one more that, uh, that I really, really like. But I just like, um, and again, this has a couple of gradients in it. I put in some linear gradients um, to bring in uh, a little more of shadows and darken the top. Um, you can kind of see the flash across the top of the beams. I happen to like that, and there's a little bit of graffiti up there to help give you that, um, that gritty feel. And again, a little bit of the processing in the sand kind of darkens up those, uh, the sand and makes it look a little more gritty. This is a shot at 14 millimeters, which is one of my favorites, actually, is really close up. You just have a little bit of the cross beams ahead. Nathan's more centered up with the pilings. And um, you have from toe to head, and I really like this one. And uh, I'm gonna just show you what it show. This is straight out of camera. Straight out of camera looks like that. A little bit of processing, probably overdid it. I was trying to bring in the blue in the ocean. Uh, this is the 100 millimeter. So you can see the 100 millimeters totally kind of flattened out the, the pilings of the pier. And they even flattened out um, Nathan. And I, I just didn't feel like it was rendered in all the kind of 3D detail that I had come to expect from the 35 and working with lenses like the 85. So I didn't really um, dig what happened with the, um, the 100 millimeter. That's it, so if I had to give um, a really quick uh, thumbs up, I think I would, I like the composition of this one a lot, but I think I overprocessed it and I actually think my favorite right here is this one. And uh, I would choose this as my number one portrait because it shows all of Nathan's build. Some of the lenses seem to put a little bit of weight in his cheeks and I had trouble getting the right angle. For this, the 10 to 18, this was actually shot at 14 millimeters. I thought it did a great job. And so for my run and gun um, trip down to the Balboa Pier, I would have to say the wide angle lens let me get in the architecture of the pier and um, it really let me capture Nathan's frame and um, him in his environment and that, that mattered. Whereas like this one, the 85, the pier, it's almost non-existent. I, I'm too close in. Thanks for joining me. And for this shootout, I really give the 10 to 18 lens a thumbs up. It did a great job. And I'm gonna keep that in my bag for portrait sessions, which I may not have said earlier before going out there to Balboa up here with Nathan. All right. You feel me too? See this America? This is hard work. It's 90 degrees outside. And this man is out here in a long sleeve, gloves. He actually has two shirts underneath that shirt. This is a lesson, better learn. Thank you for your hard work. Smash that like button. Boo! <laughs> Bang! Also, I'm doing yoga though, and that's probably making my skin feel better. I'm doing yoga. <laughs> I got a haircut and it's looking real good. <laughs> on baby, on Rudolph.